No, it was a great song. Oh, yeah. It, it, again, I remember this in the, this is the demo song that everybody probably remembers more. <laughs> oh, of course. Like, all the way back to the start. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Jesus Christ, why? Pen I, there's, there's probably a quicker way to get back there, but I don't know. Is there? I, I wasn't aware there was a fast travel in this game. Uh, yeah, this is a great thing. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the demo song. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like the OD song in 0 0.2 worth talking about. Oh, also, uh, oh, also, we I think we should be silent because Harry actually needs to focus on this one. This one's actually really hard. The, the one thing I will say that's interesting about this uh, 0 0.2 in general is that this was... Apparently supposed to be the intro to Kingdom Hearts 2 until it like just got fleshed out into its own like full thing, which is interesting. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's well, that would have been interesting. That would have been interesting uh, to see like mm? Aqua seeing yeah. Aqua before BBS came out. Uh, well, you you mean three, right? <laughs> oh, three, right, right, yeah, yeah. right, three. Um, right. I, I thought you said two for some reason. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, the, the the other thing I'm gonna say, uh, w while I'm doing this, I guess you guys can talk about zero point two and how you feel about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a thing. It's a it's a thing, I guess. <laughs> to be honest, I only played it once. Yeah, same here. I mean, I would remember Way of Darkness. I popped the fuck off when I heard it for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone remembers fucking Demon Tower. I'm just like, no, I appreciate Demon the fact what it is. Demon Tower, but yeah. I got so tired of seeing this guy in free. <laughs> yeah. I mean, doesn't it also? I mean, it does play in three, right? It the does, yeah. Yes. Oh yes, and I was just like, oh yes, finally, the only thing I remember from zero point two. I never want to see like a giant like heartless swarm like that again. Seriously. <laughs> you never want. You never want to see shadows of all things. Just like getting ready to end your career. Yeah. Because it just did it so many times and it got annoying. Doesn't help that 0 0.2 had like so many like <laughs> bosses with it. It's like they really wanted to emphasize that yes, you are in the realm of darkness. There's only pure heartless yeah. here. By the way, have fun with this part. <sighs> nice. <laughs> and now it's time to do it again. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, this is a fucking wave of darkness appreciation video now, so, uh, sorry. Yeah, we're just letting him cook. Oh, crap. That should be the test. Oh, god damn, no. this is what happened to me. Oh, god damn. Nah, nah, nah. Same, same rhythm. Only once. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say, like, this is what happens when you don't try to cook don't too hard. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say, this is what happens when you try to cook too hard. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can, I see. Okay, I see. I'm, the, I'm the Switch demo. I can never clear it, but I cleared it first try on PlayStation. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm starting to see what you mean about the using, using the, uh, the, uh, the bumpers. Oh, well, oh, like, help for, like, those, As for, like, those faster alone, notes? Yeah, I just need to get into the right rhythm. Oh, you're gonna need it, you're gonna need it when you get to, uh, all for one. Something was wrong. You know what, one thing I will say about 0.2, onward, I think the Simon level design on it was arguably better than 3 her. itself. Yeah, considering he's still a Remember Phantom Aqua? Yeah, right. Aqua no, to no. The vulnerability oh, you can also tell that, like, there were some growing pains with the um, Unreal graphics because some of the... Like, After some of the characters in, in 0 0.2 look was weird, to like, kind of weird. Ties to the realm of darkness. <laughs> also, feel, also kind of feel like Aqua was just trying to remember how to voice herself. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. <laughs> but no, I, I think, just in time like, in terms of, like, love design, I think 0 0.2 is really good because there's, like, actual, um, like, puzzles and stuff. There's... Together, 
they arrived um, at like reason to explore the areas and like I don't know I feel it's more rewarding than like most of Free's worlds. World before, like it's not considering that, that, again yeah. no considering this is like a build up to three considering like graphic and design wise too. Yeah, gameplay too. Like it's, now they you know, looking just back on it, it was like door. it's really good Suddenly, actually. Appeared, I should replay. I, I mean, I, I will probably end up replaying this too because, like realm. I said, I've only played it once. Like it definitely, I will say this: it definitely gets kind of old combat-wise because there's only so much you can Having do. But you're literally just playing one character and yeah. it's just the Aqua same gameplay. But like, yeah, just in terms of like the world design, I think it's pretty solid. It's like I wouldn't say it's like. Years passed, like on one levels of good, but it's Aqua. getting there, and I wanted more of that for free. Different destinations, each with our Sorry, you know what I think about when I see um uh, zero point two. What? Zero point two, otherwise known as the game that explains why Mickey doesn't have a shirt on. Oh, that too. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, uh... Yeah, I I love um <laughs> no, no more is like uh insistence of like explaining like every little detail to the point where it's like absolutely hysterical <laughs> it's like Nomura we get it you yeah don't melt and, and shit, but like you don't need to explain why you all right put now we go characters. dream drop now they go right and now we oh, make, play oh, as, make sure you switch your uh, team you should switch your team oh yeah oh also don't forget yep. you're not a beginner oh yeah right uh buttons how how do buttons work <laughs> Drivers in trance. The song is so good. Although the problem with the dream with the dream drop songs is that their their notes are a little weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think. Hmm. I I think I might prefer this over the Kinlas one like Travis Town thing because it's just so calming. Like it's very. I mean, I. I like, I like them both for different. I like for I like them for different reasons. Yeah, I do like how this like this gives off the whole like dream the whole uh idea and this. Yeah, I feel like original like one's Traverse Tower is plus probably just to give off more of this feeling of like this is a safe zone for you. Yeah, this is a safe zone and it's also like, it's, it's iconic too. Like, come on. Mm hmm. I do like that the like Dream Drop like opened up Traverse Town as well. Like, ha like gave it more areas and whatnot. And I was hoping that was gonna be the the case with uh, Twilight Town and Three, but it's the opposite. Oh yeah, it's fucking a joke in Three. Yeah. I mean, I also appreciate Travis Town for introducing the world in with you characters, because that was yeah. really hype when that guy announced. Yeah. Right, because you're the one who's actually played it. <laughs> actually, the one who actually played the series. I, I, I wish two was better, though. I hard dropped it. I, I haven't played any of those games, so. Uh, I do don't recommend. Play, I'll tell you this: don't play Final Remix. Or at least don't play it on a, a Switch. like. Let me type Final Remix. No, no, I was Please. gonna say no. I, at least don't play it on uh, like. Uh, what is it like? Docked? Yeah. Because I've heard it's better on a handheld. Yeah, because imagine, imagine having to use that little sensor at the bottom of your right Joy-Con. Yeah, right. Um. Yeah, yeah I, 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 it's, it's yeah. not that responsive. Help, if you, honestly, if you can help it, please play the DS version. <laughs> I'd like to play the DS version. What does the final remix even and add? Um, I don't know, Nick. I I fucking forgot, honestly. I think it adds, I think it, I think it adds an epilogue and um, remixed music. I uh, mean, like it's literally you're literally just playing the fucking phone version of the game on Switch. Mm hmm. I think that's also why I kind of hated it too, because I was kind of expecting DS, but that is asking quite a bit in these times. Yeah. This <laughs> is the fucking like like now. Let's go. Oh, by the way, another thing is that uh, one thing I like is that in the sound test of this game, you can unlock Kingdom Hearts version of Calling. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right. That is a thing. I totally forgot that track was in the game. Yeah, I know, how, and it's such a good song too. Ah, hand to hand. This one's also really good. Yeah, it's nowhere near as good as Hand in Hand, but it's like good in the same right. Mhm. Mm gotta mute myself for a bit because I gotta do stuffing. Yeah. Hand to hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember. I do think uh, Dream Drop has a really good soundtrack, I will say. When I replay it, I'll definitely remember the track though, but I will always stand to the end of time. I, I wish you didn't force Switch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll stay to the end of time. Like, 
I actually would have been thought the game would have been really good if you didn't have to, have to do that. I've softened on that mechanic over time, but like, I will say that like <laughs> it's very it, it, the way they uh, implemented, implemented it is it. the way it's implemented is very like flawed. I mean, I don't even so so, so why is, so why do you force switch again? It's like. Go it's, too far in dream world, and it's like, oh, I'm getting sleepy. Time to go to sleep now. I think the idea is that, like, like when, it's like, so, like, was it if it's when Sora's awake, like Riku like falls asleep and like vice versa or something? I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's probably some. Well, well, I mean, when I get to this game again, I'll probably remember and I'll be like, wow, that's fucking dumb. Yeah, it, it, it like something like that definitely screams like game mechanics. I mean, I, I I would love to ask the fucking like direct like the director Oop. slash like F team. Why the fuck did you have this? Yeah. I mean, I think everything else about the game is fine. Like three meters were interesting. Party members. Yeah, I will like, say this. I slow, slow motion was interesting. Like it made I do the game like a lot a, faster. I do like a lot about Dream Job, but that that's also what makes me. Uh, makes the game so painful for me because like the flaws it does have. Like, are so bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, aside from switching, what else would you say? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh shit! Oh god. Damn it. Okay, right at the end of the song. I I would yeah I would say that like the um some of the enemy. Like design, I said, the rhythms of these songs are really awkward. <laughs> some of the enemy design in Dream Drop is kind of whack, and some of the I don't know like. Some of the boss fights, they they try to go a bit too far with how big they make the bosses in Dream Job, and it's like, I don't know, it just kind of becomes a mess half the time. I don't know. The only boss that really comes to mind for me though, it's like the one in Notre Dame, the the fucking what is his name, Lord of the Sky or whatever. No, that was bad. Like. Uh yeah, I, I, was I know what it is. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I was thinking, I was thinking more like, more like the um, the big lobster guy in the Monstro. Yeah, oh, Monstro. Oh right. Like no, the, I, remember that guy. I don't. That that fight just feels like a mess, especially for Sora. Yeah. Meanwhile, the one in Riku's is the one to come the fuck down. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, like Riku's is a nuisance, but I don't think it's as bad because I don't. It, he's like. I don't think he's anywhere near as big as, like, Sora's version. But, like, yeah. I don't know, it's weird. I... I do think... Okay. Like, I do I do think uh, Dream Drop is a little bit overhated nowadays. But, like, I... It's a very flawed game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way to put it. <laughs> It's not a bad game. No. But I definitely need a reason to go back to it. Yeah. I mean, I have a reason to it, and I'm probably not going to enjoy it as much. I think I I enjoyed the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Oh my god. Moment-to-moment -moment gameplay more than BBS, but I think BBS has more of an addictive gameplay loop, if that makes sense. Are you said BBS has the loop? <laughs> yeah, I think BBS has a more addictive gameplay loop, but I like the general moment-to-moment -moment gameplay more in, 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 in Dream Job. Maybe because maybe the maybe part of it is the thrill of like leveling up your skills and all that in BBS yeah, as well. That, that's mainly it, yeah. Like I was t t talking about it during BBS, but like the you get co commands, you meld them, you get more commands, and it's just an, an addictive loop. Uh, I, I will say this though, I, like, Dream Job does, like, even does this better than Free Am I, well, it kind of just does. Like, it, like, the sense of, um, control, not control, but like, the freedom you have with, with the Master game's Yen elements, I think, like, you have more, more control over before them, because, like, you can choose Master when to, so he like, go into a dreamy to, to like, 
link or whatever. The exam um, like whatever, as long as you have a meter full. Yeah, and you can choose when to do that, whereas in free, it's like, it just feels kind of random a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Dream Eaters, wait till we learn about what happens to them in. <laughs> Oh, yeah. in um, the phone game? In the phone game? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, it's your, it looks, it looks here, it's a Smash costume. A a oh my god, it's, yeah. those, it's, those, it's those guys from Tweeny. I love that game. Oh my god, it's Ben Diskin. I, I really like, I, I will say this, I really like Sora's outfit in Dream Drop. <laughs> the Smashy Bro skin, even though yeah. we I never mentioned it. I think that's the first time we mentioned that too, actually. I think, um, I told Hub, I'm like, oh, would you believe that it's clothes are... <laughs> Wait, what? I thought I was gonna be more upset about that somehow. <laughs> I didn't hear any. We didn't hear any of that. Can you say that one more time? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Just say what you said earlier again, please. I said, um, I told Hub that like, oh, what if I told you Sora's clothes are a plot device? <laughs> oh yeah, one hundred percent. Holy yeah, shit. Right. <laughs> no, I, I think. I I actually, you do. Yeah, do. Oh Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. No, I think like Dream Drop. I thought I was gonna be a bit more upset about. I I was gonna be a little bit more upset about that, but he actually is like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dream Drop Sora is probably one of my favorite outfits for him. Like, especially in terms of like young Sora, it's my favorite look for him. It fits him better than like. Are you seeing this? Well, yeah, in Smash Bros, it's fine because it's yeah. based off of Kingdom Hearts One Sora. When you see him in two, oh god, it looks fucking weird. Yeah right. Now, that's also uh, why that I don't. The three look look. Three looks fine though. <laughs> I can well, that's why a rocket. Oop. Uh, th that's what well, I mean like with uh, Smash Bros. That's why I don't use the uh, two or three skins because like that those outfits on like young Sora just looks weird to me but That's a, a part of why I use default Sora besides the fact that it's my Kingdom Hearts one's my game, so right I like I just like the three design because I think it just works for me I mean, I do like the fr I do like freeze design like on like on Kingdom Hearts free Sora like that's I go back and forth between that or two's design as my favorite, but like, yeah. I definitely would use two except if you know if they actually use his two model, but since it's his yeah. Kingdom Hearts one model, it, just, it feels weird to me. Yeah. Nice. I was letting you cook there, but I was just like, you you used to like uh, Dr. Don's music, don't you, Harry? Oh yeah, I re yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorite uh, themes. The, the battle theme especially is great. Mm -hmm. This one's definitely one of the slower songs. Yeah. The uh, orchestra version of it is like amazing though. Like on the... Like, like it, oh, in the, like, the battle medley that... Yeah, yeah, like the uh, actual like... Uh, orchestra that like... Um... Which, like like the symphonic or or the or the like, the traveling orchestra shows and all that. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Oh man, I, I, I really hope they do that again. I think they are. I'm not sure. Are they? I, I, I don't, hope so. I, I I'd pay for that. I don't know if it's already passed. I I I'd pay to go see it. Yeah. I mean the Sonic one. There's a, there's a Sonic one that's coming to all states. So I mean. Oh yeah, look yeah. I'm actually trying to find like a uh, good time to go to one, honestly. Yeah. I'd love to listen to Sonic music live. It'd be the first time. Oh god, the fucking orchestra that they did, like the li even I know the live stream probably doesn't do it as much justice, but goddamn. <laughs> the um, oh the, the Sonic Symphony or whatever, like a couple years ago, how, whatever it was, like that was amazing. Yeah, yeah Sonic <laughs> Symphony. That was amazing. Yeah. Like that was like one day where like it felt like. We, we we found world peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of putting it, sure. There's one thing Sonic fans can all agree on. The music's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. Sonic 06 may be one of the shittiest games of all time, but goddamn, the soundtrack's actually pretty solid. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I think your ring is also pretty bad too, but, you know, there's some banger tracks in there. Yeah. Uh, what's another? What's another? Uh, uh I'm trying to remember Forces, because I know that's another mid slash bottom tier game, but I can't even think of like any tracks from Forces that's that, Some, okay. I can't believe I'm talking about Forces again. Uh, like, <laughs> got him! Got him! No, like, I, there are some good, there are some tracks I like in that game, but most, for the most part, that's how I feel about that soundtrack. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. How there's one famous? song in particular, there's one, there's one song in particular from uh, Classic, I'm trying to remember, it's really good. The only thing I remember from fucking Forces is obviously the fucking fist bump. <laughs> um, we can share the world, what we can do. What was, what was that song? Hang on, uh... Was it like, Ghost Town? Probably. Yeah, I, I definitely. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was Ghost Town. I, I think I remember that song in Force is actually being pretty, pretty good. Bob. It's probably one of the better classic themes at least, because most of classics songs in that game are like the hell. Forgettable. <laughs> Forgettable or just plain outright bad. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, the the Avatar themes are are, very, are hair mist. <laughs> Yeah, some of those are really good. I do- it's really funny. I do remember one time I was just walking into a game store, and they were just playing, a, like, one of the Avatar themes. I was just like- I just had to sta stand there for a minute and was like, Hold on, what? <laughs> I remember when I was at um, or something? God damn, that's Yeah, funny. I think so. I mean, we don't- We don't call- We don't call it GameStop over oh, wait, here, wait, but wait. like- you guys call it EV Games, right? No, we, we just call it Game. <laughs> That's so much lamer, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's just called, Welcome to Game. <laughs> okay, something I remember at work is uh, one of the arcade machines, right? In the arcade. Yeah. It, um, uh, it, it, it's flat out playing uh, Mario, Kart, Mario Kart Stadium from Mario Kart 8. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. And I think the funny thing is it was the Sega machine. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, you guys don't know that, hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I heard the song and I just stopped myself. I'm like, what? Mm -mm. That's pretty I, funny. I, I just, I just hear, yeah, I just hear, like, uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Visual confusion. Right. <laughs> also, I think it's pretty telling that they made, like, Riku the character for Dream Drops team because it's pretty clear that this was just his game. It really yeah. was, let's be honest. I mean, he does yeah. come out as a Keyblade Master at the end of it. Yeah. I'm actually kind of mad I didn't beat the game, though. I was really close. I think I got stuck on both of their final bosses and then I just gave up. The Grits themes are pretty good too. I, I like just the. Even though I know we talked about it one time, if it's probably the worst world arguably. I think it. Like it yeah, theme. yeah. In terms of, I, I think more so in terms of like aesthetics, because it's just very boring to look at. It's monotonous because everything looks the same. Yeah, because like, it's weird though, because like, what was it Space Paranoids in two was like. Really yeah, that colorful. Was fine. I, like, I think. Yeah, I, it, I don't mind that one. I th I think the grid, in terms of like a world, is better designed, but like Space Paranoids was more interesting to look at. Mm -hmm. Theme was pretty good though. I actually like the theme in Space Paranoids. I don't remember it. Dude, dude okay, we're well, very okay, not. What the heck is this? So I do it while we're in the middle of another song. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus Christ. What is this? What is this beat? <laughs> Oh, this is a case of hitting like the, the fucking side notes though, not the yeah. main theme. I hate, I fucking hate when songs do that. It throws me off so bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> Project Eve, I'm looking at you. Fucking Persona, I'm looking at you particularly too. P4 in particular. <laughs> I think of most of them, honestly. Right. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, this, this beat makes no sense to me. It's like you're listening to the beats in the foreground, more than the actual main thing it looks like. Yeah. I'm trying to listen to it, but it's also getting muffled underneath the gameplay sound. Oh god. Yeah, this is the problem with the Dream Drop songs. Yeah, I do remember hating the 3DS songs, like, so much when yeah. I first played. At least, it, at least the song only looped once. Yeah, right. Um... Oh yeah, okay, I was gonna say... Uh, I do remember the battle theme a bit more, it's a bit more clear. Yeah, I do like the battle theme more, yeah. Also, um, I'm, I, I noticed the difficulty numbers on these songs, and yeah, that sounds about right, but most of the, uh... Most of the Dream Drop songs actually have pretty high numbers. Yeah, that checks out. 
I mean, oh, it, it's paradise. I mean, it, it also checks out because. Ah, uh, yes, country of the musketeers. Are you ready to get your <laughs> hand broken? Yeah. Oh, everyone, everyone remember that one for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, no, I, I practiced it. I was <laughs> several times. I was gonna say. So I got an all. I got an all chain. <laughs> No, I was gonna say though, that, that kind of checks out as well because Dream Drop is probably one of the harder games in the series for not really the right reasons. <laughs> but like, still. Uh, how do you guys feel about the Dream Ears? It's interesting. Interesting, I mean. interesting, interesting enemies. Like, and I, well, I mean, interesting in general, too, because I mean, like, yeah. at least, like, you get their abilities, too, as a teammate, and I guess they had to substitute Don and Goofy somehow. So, yeah. I mean, at least it's I think interesting. Also as, I think it's also as enemies, they're more distinct than the Unverse. I was gonna say, I, I, I like them as, like, I, I think they leave more of an impact, because Unverse are literally just Heartless 2.0. <laughs> heartless, heartless at home. Or, or, or 0 0.5, technically. <laughs> right. Well, it's like, if, the, the Dreamers, like, have... I feel like they have more of a distinct design, and like the idea—the idea of them being like the residents of the dream world—is just inherently just more interesting to me than just here's just the the bad guys for this specific game. We need some kind of antagonist enemy to beat up. Quick, design some hard with reskin. Okay, got a boss. Pretty much. <laughs> what the heck is this? is what I was getting from that. Yeah. Can't wait to see how it's gonna look like on the second half of the, the second half of, the, of it. Yeah. Were you gonna say something? I forgot. I forgot. I was. I think I was gonna say like some. Oh god! It, that, those guys kind of just showed up. Yeah. Right. Um. I forgot. Yeah. I think I, I think I was gonna say it's also interesting having like enemies also be your allies. Yeah. Yeah, recruitment. I, I do like the idea of like there being good versions of Dreamers and like bad ones. And you know, each of them having their own unique skills, I think it also yeah. adds more diverse diversion too. Or I mean, um, diversity, my bad. Although, um, the, 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 what we know, no, going by what we know about Dream Eaters now, uh, it makes me wonder, like, yeah, we, we know the spirits are like, um, like, basically fallen keyblade wielders but it makes me wonder if that's the same case with the nightmares so are we actually just killing people <laughs> yes yes finally violence in the kingdom of hearts series that's what i'm <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yes finally we just disregard all the disney shit and it's like oh yeah so that, there's the boss fight yep this is a uh, war goyle i believe it was yeah that sounds right Notre Dame boss? Is, I don't remember that it's, at all. It's the, it's the bad boss here in Notre Dame. Yeah. I will say this about Dream Shots was as well. This is also the case in 3, but like, they do a really good in, good job in terms of like, just showing like the scale of the worlds. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like Dream Job, like, okay, I, I think it's, Easier to, it, 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 I think it makes more sense for me to say the worlds in Dream Drop are easier to swallow than in 3. Not necessarily better, be, just because, like, 3, I feel like, kind of goes a bit overboard. <laughs> but like, if, I feel like uh, Dream Drop, while the, the scale is, like, a lot bigger than previous games, it, it doesn't feel overwhelming to me. Right. If that makes sense. I get you, man. No, I definitely see what you mean. I definitely remember three worlds definitely do stretch. There's yeah. Some, it's, it's, there's I've, definitely some areas where it's just a big bunch of nothing. Yeah, I think there's a point where it's like, not necessarily too big, but like, too big with not a lot to do. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. I feel like fucking Corona actually had that problem yeah. too. When yeah, you, Corona, you uh, Arundel. <laughs> Kind of, uh, what, what else is in three? No, I mean, I mean, San Pinocchio is literally just one area, so I mean, I think yeah. that's fine. I think it gets away with it. It's like uh, San Francisco is basically discount Spider-Man PS4. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Yeah. 
Hopefully by the time this video comes out, we actually see more of Spider-Man 2, because holy shit, I mean, it actually we, looks yeah, right? good. It looks I, fucking I, good. Oh, I, God mean, damn. The, the, I saw the Venom trailer, it looked fucking sick. I mean, Is it October yet? <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, like, I mean, they, they've had, like, quite a few interviews since then, so it's like, I kind of just start to, I just want to play the game. <laughs> Yeah, October's gonna be a fucking murder. Like, what do you play? Fucking Mario, we... Sonic, or Spider-Man? Yeah, and dude. then we have, like, was it the Mario RPG remake as well? Isn't it? Oh, yeah. fuck. God, I want to play it so bad, man. That's been so long. <laughs> you keep this up, I'm just gonna bring out my fucking um, uh, SNES Mini. Yeah, right, it's like... Like, someone just decided, like, the, a bunch of game devs just decided one time, w one day, let's screw everyone over on October specifically. Hey, yeah. let's, let's do some real damage on mm. people's bank accounts. <laughs> That's something we can all agree on. Money! Yeah, right. I do like Prankster's Paradise quite a bit, actually. I mean, at least if you're bringing back Pinocchio, at least you actually get to go to the island. Yeah. I do like monster. I, I was like, like mon the monstro side of it is like hit or miss, but like I, I think overall I do prefer it over Kinmas One's monstro just because I don't like I like the, the they could have toned down the big rooms a little bit, but I don't hate like exploring the place compared to one where it just kind of feels like an annoying. No, one maze. Re replaying one. I'm just like I'm glad I know where I'm going because if I was fucking. Yeah. Back when I was in fucking middle school playing this, oh Jesus, I remember hating the shit out of Monstro. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, with time recording, me and Nick are just going for the games. Yeah. So at this point, at the time of this recording, we just finished Halloween Town, so we're off to Neverland. Yeah, we'll probably be I, I mean, probably I mean I'm enjoying, I'm like enjoying Kingdom Hearts 1 because I, I played it a lot, so I mean, yeah. of course I, I know what I'm doing with the game. And when we get to 2, Yes, I'll, I'll be like, <laughs> once we get to two, oh shit, after two, we're you're just gonna see all the skill level go massively downhill. <laughs> well, we're playing on proud mode, by the way, people. <laughs> I think. Oh, I know, being forced to playing on proud mode. I've done it with yeah. like two in the past, but not usually one. I don't mm. think I've. No, because when Final Mix first came out, PS3, I definitely played it the normal first time. I think. Uh, oh, your save file, your save file on a. Uh... In your save file on the on the on the HD remix of uh, 1.5 plus 2.5, says you have beaten it on a proud. Uh, well, one of the games, right? Oh yeah, it was like it was it was like when we started playing, you had a second save already, like from that, wasn't it? It probably was like two, because I definitely don't remember playing proud on one. Hmm. Yeah. Do I, I definitely remember say, playing like, in vanilla. Like definitely about... in vanilla. I definitely did do proud mode at least once uh, in my life. I was also gonna say, like, one thing I like about Princess Paris in general is, like, yeah, like, say what you will, like, yeah, the monster bit is hit or miss, but at the very least, Sora and Riku have completely different areas. Yeah, yeah that's fine, I'll, I'll take that. Like, I do like that, it's basically two worlds. Mm hmm Yeah, good. There's a, there's a reason to actually go to the world I, and not just copy and paste the same thing. I think it does, I think they did a better job of that in, a. uh... uh uh, Symphony of Sorcery and World That Never Was Day, because like the, I think the, 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 um, I don't know. I think the level design in those is just better. <laughs> you declare one hundred songs. I'm proud. Woo. Wow. Well, is, it, is this an appropriate time to say this is worthless? <laughs> wow. Oh, this is meaningless. <laughs> oh no, like, David showed me the fucking, um, there's a meme of that with Pikmin 3, I mean Pikmin 4, but you know how, like, in the end of the game you actually get the C-Stick command from, like, the GameCube titles? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he showed me that with fucking, <laughs> with the OC saying, yeah. wow, this is worthless, and I'm just like, correct, because charge is fucking broken. <laughs> it's nice to have, at least. It's nice to have for the nostalgia factor, but I've kind of just dropped it after 3, because, like, well, because... Pikmin AI just automatically works a little bit better, and charges works way better than swarming. Um, yeah, I noticed in two. a... a, a specific in Kingdom Hearts 3. I noticed in, <laughs> in Pikmin 3... Uh, I noticed in P Pikmin 3, like, the, the Pikmin... Uh, when, like... They, they form more of a straight line compared to 1 and 2, like, right behind yeah. you. So, I mean, if you're going to take out the swarm command or the direct command with the C-Stick, at least you improve the A a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not perfect, but, you know, it still got some issues. 
Yeah, I remember some weird stuff happening in, happening in 3 when I played it. Oh, so by the way, I um, uh, I replaced the replay three, because that By the way, by the way, Nick, you actually get another power if you, if you finish all Louis' little tasks. Oh, Louis, uh, what's now? He, he has oh. tasks for you, too. Oh, yeah, right, I actually did get those, but I haven't... I haven't gone back to the game since I've beaten the dog. We still, we still have to do all of ours, that uh, shipwreck thing. I actually beat it. I had, like, four days left on it. So, did you get the extra cave? Uh, yeah, I got the extra cave. Dude, those Dandori battles are actually kind of hard. And you need to do it to get your, to get your uh, purple and white onions. I mean, it's not required to, because you can obviously just do the purple, 100 purple pigment, like, the old-fashioned way, but honestly, this method is just so much better. Actually giving you an onion? Yeah, no, honestly, like, I know it's really late in the game, like, it's post-game shit, but it's nice that it's finally there. Is Lewis still in the chat, by the way? I'm uh, checking. He yeah, he and Aaron are, um, chatting up. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we're not well, doing moving it without Xavier, so... Yeah, cause like, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not in a hurry to watch Guardians 3, cause I already watched it already, and I'm kind of going through all the series again. Oh, you know what's really fucking funny? I'm, I'm on Loki right now, and literally the day I started watching it, they announced Season 2. And I'm just, la I'm just laughing my ass off, and I couldn't have been timed perfectly.